Whether it's bullet time, focus time, haste, or vats, one thing gaming loves to do is slow things down to a crawl. But it takes a lot more than a sluggish gun and some rifling streaks to sell the effect. You need proper audio. And making it isn't as easy as you might think. Regardless of the environment, our suspension of disbelief has lines drawn in the sand when it comes to recreating physics themselves. Can you imagine playing a slow motion section with normally paced audio? You'd begin to suspect you've been poisoned. Without the right ambience and atmosphere cues to match, your slow motion sequence is nothing more than a broken video card. So how does one make a good slow-mo sound exactly? I'm glad you asked, because that's what we'll be doing today using my friend Pedro as our guinea pig. The slow motion mechanic complements the chaotic and silly nature of the game. Shooting a frying pan to kill enemies, walking on a barrel down hallways, these are the kind of things that require a bit of finesse. So the player being able to slow things down for more precision only helps make the game more fun, as well as unique. And, since it just came out, what better time than now to take a look at recreating a fun and interesting mechanic? Now obviously, neither of us have the time for me to recreate my friend Pedro in a game engine properly just for this demonstration. So I'll be using some standard assets in Unity, while using FMOD to apply the effect to the gunshot as well as some music. There are two big pieces to the puzzle of making slow-mo effects. One is that, with the slowdown effect in My Friend Pedro being as uniquely consistent as it is, it basically requires the game to be mixed twice, once in slow motion and once at regular speed. It's not necessarily more challenging, but as a sound designer, it's an important thing to consider when weighing the workload of a project. The other piece is integration. Fortunately, using tools like FMOD, this is the easier of the two. And rail means rail. A common misconception about slowdown sound effects is that they would simply be made by stretching or slowing down the audio. Well, unfortunately, here's why that sound doesn't quite work the way it seems like it might. Here's a regular gunshot sound. And this is the same sound stretched out with preserved pitch. That's important for later. It sounds this way because audio is recorded and measured in samples per second. And on average, the industry standard for most sounds and music is around 44.1 thousand hertz. That's a lot of nuts! Think of it like film. What was 24 frames per second is now 15, or 10. And it goes from looking like a movie, to more like a flip book. The illusion is broken, and audio, surprisingly, works the same way. Once you start stretching audio, even at 44.1 thousand samples per second, our squishy little brains start to hear the individual samples as they become easier to separate. And just to show this off, this is what the gunshot sounds like when we don't preserve the pitch. This means that when the sound gets stretched out, the pitch decreases like we expect it to. But if we did it this way, we would have to remake every single sound in the game at a lower pitch. Which is where FMOD comes in. Because FMOD is going to make our lives so much easier. Instead of changing every single sound effect, we will be applying a slow motion effect across the board. To create slow motion sounds in FMOD, first we create what are called snapshots, which can be applied to a bus group, effectively assigning it to every FMOD event in that group. Unfortunately, Pedro couldn't be with us today, so we'll have to make do with our little Trigger Happy Unity Project Capsule Pal Paco. I did three things to create the slowdown effect. We can see that in the effects rack, I added a low pass filter which cuts out the higher frequencies, which in turn accents the lower frequencies more. So I tried lowering the pitch inside of the snapshot, but it actually didn't yield the best results. It makes the music out of tune and it stands out a bit too much, when I'd prefer it to remain subtle so it won't break immersion. This is definitely a personal preference. I also added some heavy reverb. I feel that reverb is a very common tool that games use to emphasize slow motion effects, just because it sort of gives off the effect that the reflections of it resemble.
And then, for a little bit of flavor, I automated the snapshot to take effect on a delay. So it transitions into the slow motion sound effect instead of doing so immediately, which would sound jarring. So when we combine all of this together, this is what the transition from regular speed to slow motion sounds like. Anyways, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more. Also, if you enjoyed all this FMOD and Unity stuff, we go over all this kind of stuff in the Game Audio Training series. In addition to this, you get weekly group calls, a ton of video course content, and real projects to work on for your portfolio. Check out blipsounds.com in the description below. Enroll in the Game Audio Training series today.